Hello, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I am here doing your little nightly reading, my darlings. This reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. Just take what does resonate, Cancer, and toss out the rest, okay? Don't try to force anything. And thank you so much, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do. Seriously, I love you, Cancer. Thank you so much for all of your support. I truly do mean that. Okay, Knight of Cups and, yep, and, man, a lot of regret. Wow. All right, Cancer, right out the gate. Um, what? As soon as this card came out with the Ace of Swords, I knew right away that this person here is very clear on exactly who you are boom seriously they know exactly who you are to them and if they if they could turn back time right and not turn their back to you um, and give you the offer you deserve and just choose you they would but it, I feel like this when this person met you or you know when they found you right they didn't they didn't give you a love offer they didn't choose you they didn't they gave you no love no nothing they had no they didn't use their intuition here there's a cup they didn't use their intuition they didn't choose you and now this person's in a lot of regret I don't know what just happened there but yeah um, that's all that they can think about this is their central focus they they continuously go back to the moment where they gave you up for someone else okay that's what this person is doing right now they're ashamed I feel like they're nearly on shutdown mode they're very emotional they're hiding their tears they know they had a blessing in love here cancer and they tossed it to the curb when they turned their back on you and that's seriously this is exactly what I'm getting cancer this person they just review that moment where they made that careless mistake okay um yeah and you were a big temptation for this person they saw you as being um very sexy right really cool easy to talk to fun um yeah uh, but see the queen of wands i feel like the queen of wands she's been through it and she doesn't play any games i feel like this person came in and they played a game with you cancer you were just a huge temptation for them and that's because this could very well be a past soulmate plat sorry cancer past life soulmate connection yeah my battery died just then too thankfully um <laughs> but yeah this this could very well be your twin flame your divine masculine okay i feel like they had a decision to make and you got cut cancer you got cut and now this person is realizing who you are to them they're realizing they can't shake this connection and um yeah they they constantly relive the moment they rejected you okay the moment they turn their back on you it's it's like they're just reviewing it in their head over and over and over again this is this person kind of kicking themselves right wanting to come in and apologize now but they they even know this apology may not be enough um they're looking at that cup like i don't know man i don't know this person i i feel like they're they're getting ready to come forward cancer everything is everything here is about to change they're in a lot of regret they know what they did they know who you are now this person i feel like they've gotten clarity on the situation you've gotten clarity on the situation they I feel like this person lied to you betrayed you had in and out energy cancer um they they thought they would get away with what they did okay they thought they would get away with what they did but they're not getting away with anything this person is a wreck inside right now wishing they could go back and do it all again right the right way yeah i feel like um this person they had choices cancer they had other options when it came to love 
and they needed to make a decision and they they knew that they wanted you but they didn't choose you they i feel like maybe this person liked to have other options around them maybe they wanted to have their cake and eat it too but man if they could if they could go back and do it differently this person would that's all that they're you know i don't know it almost feels like a, a surreal they're wishing for for like some kind of miracle to happen here but yeah this is all about to change cancer this person's in a lot of regret a lot of regret this could be somebody who lives a distance from you they may need to travel towards you not necessarily though I'm telling you if they could go back in time what did I just say it's almost like a surreal they're kind of hoping for a miracle kind of like let me just take a trip back in time you know and uh, change the situation like a back to the future kind of thing okay yeah they would do anything to change around the moment that they walked away from you I'm telling you they walked away from the one that they wanted the most yeah and they chose somebody else over you they or they wanted just they had other options I'm seeing three feminine energies here these could be a group of people who maybe work together as a as a team or they could have listened to other feminine energies um, in their family like no don't choose cancer blah 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 I don't know I'm seeing three other feminines here dancing around your person okay they could have listened to these other people and that's why they um, I feel like they ghosted you they cut you out so quickly yeah yeah the competition fighting strife what is this about clarify the five of wands for cancer clarify the five of wands for cancer yeah a lot of fighting going down with the queen of swords energy yeah i feel like this person i kind of get the sense that you know they chose this queen of swords over you cancer and it's been nothing but a big battle and plus two i feel like this queen of swords knows about you cancer and they're constantly trying to compete with you somehow um i don't really think you really care much about that you're just focused on a new beginning for yourself but this queen of swords yeah because she knows this person wants to reach out to you i feel like there's a lot of fighting going on between your person who is now bossing up and this queen of swords this here marks the end of a cycle the wheel of fortune is the end of, to one cycle a beginning to another one this is a big giant vault door closing too and I feel like it's about it's about done with these two there's so much fighting going on because your person wants to reach out to you yeah this is over what they're in so much regret your person is in so much regret over their choice okay they really are and I feel like um, yeah it's taken them too long they've been they've been going through this fighting back and forth and bickering with this queen of swords about you and all of this crap for up to three years you guys could have been in no contact and during that time cancer all of this emotion it seems to have run dry and not only i feel like you know i usually see this as somebody who's worried about how you feel about them but honestly if they've been with this with this queen of swords energy for up to three years they don't feel the same way about this queen of swords anymore all the emotion is gone it's loveless it's empty it's dry so i feel like that's their situation and that's why it's coming to an end this person doesn't they don't feel the same for this queen of swords anymore they just don't and I feel like that's this person is taking a stand I feel and I feel like they're about to come towards the one that they walked away from the one that they turned their back on that two of cups there cancer that's this two of cups here 
They're about to come back to you, Cancer, okay? Because they know who it is that they love. They know who their soulmate is, and they're in a lot of regret. All right, what else can you show me here? Yeah, I feel like they just don't, um, they don't feel the same way about this Queen of Swords anymore, man. It's like all the emotion is dried up there. Yeah, this person could have a lot of financial burdens right now, Cancer. Or I, they're just going to be burdened. Once this person leaves and gets away from this karmic, I feel like um, they, you know, they could even need a place to stay because they may have to move out of the situation. They're going to have financial trouble. They already do, I feel. Nothing's been growing for this person. They could even be in bad health and need some help. But I feel like that, you know, they're going to be very burdened when they walk away from this karmic. But see, the thing is, is they're not emotional for the karmic anymore. This person here, this emperor, they do not feel hardly anything for this karmic. Except for the fact that they know that following the karmic just got them basically to nowhere, right? In nothing but trouble really is what it is. You're the one that they want, Cancer. The Six of Cups here. They remember your love. This is somebody who's constantly, constantly going back and thinking about old fond memories, right? And the day they walked away from their Six of Cups. So here they come, Cancer. Oh my gosh. Cancer! I'm getting the chills again. Here they come. This person wants to commit to you, Cancer. You're leaving the scene. You're ending the cycle too. The uh, both their cycle is ending and your cycle is ending. Okay? They're ending their cycle with a lot of burdens and a lot of a lot of trouble, really a lot of fighting. You're ending your cycle walking into something that's going to be very abundant for you. A a brand new way of living and very well balanced. You're not all up in your emotions. So, yeah. And I feel like, so now this person's coming towards you, Cancer. They're guarded, right? This person's in a, a suit of armor, okay? So I feel like they're they're nervous. They're, they're very worried that um, you're going to reject them and hurt them, okay? You can feel this person coming towards you, Cancer. Now, they may be hiding the fact that there could be other options around them still. So make sure that, um, you know, you use your intuition with this person. But you, you are the high priestess here, Cancer. Um, you're very intuitive. And this person's coming towards you. They want to commit to you now. Yeah, now they want you. And I feel like they're leaving behind um, that karmic. I really do. Yeah, they're taking a leap of faith. They're coming towards you, Cancer. This person is feel, feeling like a complete fool. They are. Be because they keep reliving that moment. They walked away from you. But they're coming back in now. I feel like it's kind of an impulsive move here that they're making. You know, they're moving slow, 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 and this is really fast. This is quick. This fool card. So um, everything is about to change drastically, Cancer, really fast. All right, what else can you show me here for this situation with Cancer? Thank you. Yep, they're coming towards their Queen of Cups. I cannot make it up, Cancer, I'm telling you. They're coming. They're coming. They don't feel anything. They don't they don't have love for this karmic anymore. Not the at least not the right kind of love. They may care about them cuz they've been with them for a while, but they they all the emotion is gone. It's just dry. There's no love left in that situation. And I feel like it's coming down. It's the end. Death, it's the end. There's no love there. They're coming to the one who knows how to love the best. And that's the Queen of Cups. That's Cancer. You're on the top of the Zodiac list. 
for knowing how to love the best. Okay? And that's who they want. They want love now. This person's been without love for, like I said, three years, three months, maybe longer. Okay? So, um, yeah, they've been without love. Now they want that love. They want that love that they remember that they can't seem to get off of their mind. Okay? That they're constantly thinking about. They want the one that they turn their back on. The one that they regret leaving behind. And they're coming, Cancer. They're coming. Leap of faith here. The Knight of Pentacles coming in. This person's, they could already be on their way. Um, all right, so let's see what they may have to say to you, Cancer. What does this person want to say to Cancer? What do they want to say to Cancer? That one wants to come out. What do they want to say to Cancer? I replay our conversations over and over. I told you. <laughs> I told you. They think about that moment where they left you behind over and over and over again. Whatever conversation that you could have had that day. Um, they've been trying to forget about you by burying themselves in work cancer. Um, the distance between us is killing me. I long to hear your beautiful voice again. Uh, yeah, Cancer, this person constantly replays everything about that day in their head over and over. I still have dreams about you and our happy times together. I told you they can't get you off of their mind. Six of Cups energy, guys. The happy times together. I'm in love with you and I'm ready to take action. I want to build a beautiful life with you. I'm telling you, man, this person's coming in. They're in love with you and ready to take action. I'm telling you. Get ready, Cancer. This person's taking that leap of faith. They're taking a leap of faith. They want their Ten of Pentacles. They want their Queen of Cups. Anyway, Cancer, listen, that's what I've got for this quick little nightly reading, right? Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you guys. Please know how much I love you. And thank you all for your support, your likes, your subscribes. I really do appreciate it all, Cancer. And um, until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.